Okay, so Gideon, you spoke a little bit about a few things around PAYE and notifications that, that saw sends people and then they don't know what to do with it. So please explain that to the listeners. Yeah, so I just want to give the taxpayers uh, two tips for this filing season. We just started today, it's ending on the 23rd of November. Um, so I've realized as recent as last year that SARS is asking individuals to ask the employer to submit their page you earn reconciliations. SARS cannot do this. Okay. Um, in my opinion, this is very unethical behavior by SARS yeah. because pay as you earn is regulated by the fourth schedule of the Income Tax Act. That schedule describes the relationship between SARS and the employer. That's your boss, the person yes. paying your salary. The no way in that schedule does it mention a relationship between you, the taxpayer, the person where the page you gets deducted from, and SARS. So SARS cannot ask you to ask your employer to fulfill their obligations towards SARS. The fourth SARS got remedies in the fourth schedule that they can enforce for the employer to um, uh, to submit the reconciliations, but they cannot ask this of an individual. Um, SARS, it's just, SARS has done it and it kind of baffles me as well. It kind of throws you off track. Mm -hmm. It's not written in law and SARS tries their luck with this and you're like, how? Oh, what now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and it's difficult to navigate around that because, because it's not written in law. You've never heard of something like that and you kind of um, thrown a curveball and you don't know what to do with it. Yeah. SARS does it. Send SARS a letter um, in the submission of the supporting documentation and say, sorry, um, what you're asking is governed by the fourth schedule of the Income Tax Act um, and I have no responsibility to tell my employer to submit this. Please um, do your contact own the job. Employer, yeah, contact yeah. the employer directly to ask. Exactly. Uh, because it's got nothing to do with you. So what you say is uh, when you then submit... <laughs> Do they respond on the email that they get? Or is it better to just do it when they submit their tax return with uh, the supporting documents? So when the individual submits supporting documentation, when they go under so-called audit, mm -hmm. um, it's actually a review. SARS just wants to review the documentation. Um, and SARS can come back with additional requests. Right. And usually, if the employer has not submitted their page and reconciliation, SARS might ask a question like that. Okay. You just tell SARS, no, sorry, it's not my responsibility. Mm. You go do your own job. No, you have not employed me to do this. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so um, yeah, so if you get this, I actually, I think uh, about a week and a half ago, I had a client that, that asked me about that specifically. So that's something that I think they're trying to push their, their luck. And um, it's good for the listeners to know about that.